Are you finding it challenging to decide on the right computer science course for your career? Today we are going to discuss about these challenges. Welcome to Data Lab Work Channel. Take a moment and think about it. The world of computer science is vast and varied, offering a myriad of courses, each with its unique opportunities and challenges. You've got the Bachelor of Computer Applications, BCA, Bachelor of Technology in Computer Science Engineering, BTEC CSE, and the Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science Engineering, BCSE. Then, you move on to the Master's level with the Master of Computer Applications, MCA, Master of Technology in Computer Science Engineering, MTEC CSE, and the Master of Engineering in Computer Science Engineering, MECSE. It's no wonder that choosing the right path can seem like a daunting task, especially when you're just starting out. But don't worry, we're here to help. We'll be diving deep into each of these courses, comparing them side by side, discussing their pros and cons, and most importantly, helping you understand which one might be the best fit for your career goals. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of what each computer science course offers. First up, let's compare the undergraduate computer science courses, BCA and BTEC or B. Diving right in, Bachelor of Computer Applications or BCA is a three-year undergraduate program that offers a deep dive into the world of computer applications. It is designed to build a strong foundation in programming languages, data structures, and networking, among other areas. BCA is perfect for those who are inclined towards the software side of computers, with a keen interest in coding and software development. On the other hand, Bachelor of Technology or Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science, often abbreviated as BTEC or B, is a four-year program. This course not only covers the software aspects but also gives a detailed understanding of the hardware components. It provides a broader perspective, encompassing fields like operating systems, computer architecture, and data science, among others. Now let's look at the course structure. BCA focuses more on application software, programming languages, and web-based applications. It's a course that is more software-centric. BTEC or BE, on the other hand, offers a balance between software and hardware concepts. It provides a comprehensive understanding of the design, construction, and uses of both hardware and software aspects of computer systems. As for career prospects, both courses open up a plethora of opportunities. BCA graduates can find roles as software developers, web developers, systems analysts, and more. They can also go for higher studies like MCA to further specialize. BTEC or BE graduates, on the other hand, have a wider range of job roles to choose from. They can work as software engineers, data analysts, hardware engineers, and even venture into research and development roles. However, it's important to note that the choice of course should align with your personal interests and career goals. If you are more interested in the software and application aspect of computers, BCA might be the right fit. But if you want a comprehensive understanding of both hardware and software, BTEC or B would be a better choice. So the choice between BCA and BTEC or BE comes down to your career goals and interests. Moving on to postgraduate programs, let's contrast MCA with MTEC or ME in computer science. MCA, standing for Master of Computer Applications, is a three-year postgraduate degree. This course is designed with an emphasis on software development and application, covering a wide range of topics such as programming, database management, networking, and web development. On the other hand, MTech or ME in Computer Science is a two-year postgraduate program. This course is more research-focused, providing an in-depth understanding of algorithms, computation, programming languages, program design, computer software, computer hardware, and more. The difference in course duration is noticeable. MCA, being a three-year degree, allows for a more detailed exploration of the subject matter. MTech or ME, being a shorter two-year course, is more concentrated and research-intensive. The course content and focus areas also differ. MCA leans more towards the application of computer science principles. It equips students to develop software and applications that solve real-world problems. MTech or ME, meanwhile, encourages a deeper dive into the theoretical aspects of computer science. It prepares students for research and development roles in the field. Now let's talk about career prospects. An MCA degree can lead to roles such as software developer, system analyst, and software consultant in the IT industry. The skills acquired during the course are highly valued in the software industry. MTech or ME graduates, with their deeper understanding of computer science principles, are often sought after for research and development roles. 
They can also find opportunities as data scientists, machine learning engineers, or in academia as lecturers or researchers. It's important to note that both courses offer good prospects in the IT industry. However, the choice between MCA and MTech or ME depends on one's individual interests and career aspirations. If you're more inclined towards software development and application, MCA might be the right fit for you. But if you're interested in diving deeper into the theoretical aspects of computer science, you might want to opt for MTech or ME. Choosing between MCA and MTech or ME depends on your long-term career plans and your area of specialization. What if you're interested in academia? Let's talk about the UGC Net for MCA. The UGC Net, or University Grants Commission, National Eligibility Test, is a significant stepping stone for Master of Computer Applications, MCA, graduates who dream of working in the academic world. This test is a validation of your ability to conduct research and teach computer science at the university level in India. The UGC Net is a key that opens the doors to the world of academia for MCA graduates. It is a testament to your knowledge and understanding of computer applications, and it demonstrates your readiness to impart this knowledge to the next generation of computer enthusiasts. After successfully clearing the UGC Net, MCA graduates have a wide range of opportunities in colleges and universities. They can seek positions as assistant professors, associate professors, or even aim for the position of a professor in the long run. They can also work as researchers, contributing to the ever-evolving field of computer science. The academic world offers a unique set of advantages. There is the joy of teaching, engaging with bright young minds, and leading them on their journey to understanding complex computer applications. There is also the thrill of conducting research, of pushing the boundaries of what we know about computer science, and contributing to technological advancements. Moreover, MCA graduates with UGC Net can also work in administrative positions in educational institutions. They can take up roles like academic coordinators or examination controllers, contributing to the smooth functioning of educational institutions. One important thing to remember is that the UGC Net is not the end of your academic journey, but rather the beginning. It is a stepping stone that leads to further opportunities, like pursuing a PhD in computer science. A PhD not only adds to your academic credentials, but also opens up more avenues in teaching and research. So, if you're an MCA graduate with a passion for teaching and research, don't overlook the importance of the UGC Net. It could be your ticket to a fulfilling career in academia, where you can make a significant impact on the future of computer science. UGC Net could be your gateway to a fulfilling academic career after MCA. Unfortunately, there's a perceived discrimination between engineering courses and BCA or MCA. This bias often originates from the misconception that engineering courses such as BTech, BE, MTech, or ME in computer science are more rigorous and comprehensive than BCA or MCA. Some believe that these engineering courses offer a more in-depth understanding of technical concepts, thus offering better job prospects. However, it's crucial to understand that this discrimination, more often than not, is unfounded and is gradually evaporating. Both BCA, MCA, and engineering courses provide a solid foundation in computer science and equip students with the necessary skills to excel in the tech industry. One of the reasons behind this perceived discrimination is the traditional hierarchy in academia, where engineering has always been placed a notch higher than other professional courses. This, in turn, has influenced employers' preferences, often leading them to favor engineering graduates over BCA or MCA graduates. But here's the catch. The industry is evolving and so are its needs. Today, employers are more interested in your skills, practical exposure, and ability to adapt rather than just your degree. Companies are increasingly recognizing the value that BCA and MCA graduates bring to the table, which is leading to a shift in hiring trends. Moreover, the curriculum for BCA and MCA has been revamped in recent years to match the industry's requirements. These courses now offer a more practical approach, focusing on hands-on experience, which is highly valued in the tech industry. So while there may be a perceived discrimination, remember it's your skills and the knowledge you possess that truly matter. The title of your course is just a label and shouldn't define or limit your potential. In the end, whether it's an engineering course or a BCA-MCA, each has its own unique advantages and can open doors to a plethora of opportunities in the ever-evolving tech world. It's all about how you leverage what you learn and apply it in real-world scenarios. Remember, your skills and expertise matter more than the course title. What are the benefits of MCA and PhD? 
Have you considered further studies after MCA? Let's explore the benefits of doing a PhD. Firstly, earning a PhD can significantly enhance your career prospects. It's no secret that employers often prioritize candidates with higher levels of education. A PhD signals that you have expert knowledge in your field and have developed a range of valuable skills, including critical thinking, problem solving, and research abilities. So, whether you're looking to climb the corporate ladder, aspire to become a university professor, or want to lead research and development teams in tech companies, a PhD can be an invaluable asset. Additionally, a PhD provides opportunities to delve deep into the realm of research and innovation. During your PhD, you'll spend several years conducting original research on a specific topic of your choice. This is a unique opportunity to contribute to the body of knowledge in your field and potentially make breakthroughs that could shape the future of technology. If you're passionate about discovery and innovation, a PhD could be the perfect pathway for you. Moreover, a PhD allows you to develop a strong professional network. Throughout your doctoral studies, you'll collaborate with other researchers, attend conferences, and publish papers. These experiences can help you establish connections with leading experts in your field, which can open doors to exciting job opportunities and collaborations in the future. Lastly, a PhD can provide personal satisfaction. It's a challenging journey that requires dedication and perseverance, but the sense of accomplishment when you finally earn that doctorate is incomparable. If you have a thirst for knowledge and enjoy intellectual stimulation, pursuing a PhD could be a fulfilling experience. So if you're an MCA graduate pondering your next step, consider a PhD, not only could it boost your career, but it also offers opportunities for research, networking, and personal growth. A PhD could open up a world of opportunities for MCA graduates. Lastly, let's discuss why professional courses like BCA and MCA are good for freelancing. Both these courses provide a broad spectrum of skills that are in high demand in the freelancing world. The BCA, or Bachelor of Computer Applications, gives a solid foundation in programming languages, database management, and software development. On the other hand, the MCA, or Master of Computer Applications, takes these skills to the next level offering a more in-depth understanding and specialization in areas like data science, artificial intelligence, or cybersecurity. These courses offer the flexibility to adapt to different projects and clients. This adaptability is a boon for freelancers, who often juggle multiple projects simultaneously. Furthermore, the project-based nature of these courses mimics the freelancing environment, with tight deadlines and high expectations, preparing students for the challenges they might face in their freelance careers. BCA and MCA graduates often find successful freelance careers as software developers, web developers, data analysts, and many more. They can offer their services to a variety of sectors, from tech startups to established corporations and even nonprofit organizations looking for tech solutions. This broad range of opportunities allows them to build a diverse portfolio, making them more attractive to future clients. One key advantage of freelancing after a BCA or MCA is the control it offers over one's career. Freelancers can choose the projects they work on, set their own schedules, and often work from anywhere, offering an enviable work-life balance. This autonomy is highly valued by many, and these courses equip freelancers with the skills to make the most of these opportunities. However, freelancing is not without its challenges. It requires discipline, networking skills, and the ability to sell one's services effectively. BCA and MCA courses with their emphasis on project management and communication skills can help prepare students for these aspects too. So, if you value flexibility and independence, BCA or MCA could be your ticket to a successful freelancing career. We've covered a lot of ground today. From understanding the difference between BCA and BTech or BE in computer science to comparing MCA with MTech or ME, we've dissected the nuances of each course. We've also delved into the world of academia, discussing the significance of the UGC net for MCA graduates and their potential to contribute in colleges and universities. We've explored the prejudices that exist between engineering courses and BCA-MCA, shedding light on the unjust discrimination that sometimes occurs. We've highlighted the unique benefits of pursuing an MCA or a PhD in computer science and the opportunities they can open up for you. Lastly, we've touched upon the advantages of BCA and MCA for those interested in freelancing, showcasing the flexibility and independence that these courses can offer. But remember, all these courses, be it BCA, MCA, BTech, MTech, or a PhD, 
They are all different paths leading to the same destination, a career in the exciting field of computer science. Each one has its own merits, its own challenges, and its own unique experiences. The question is not which course is better, but rather, which course is better for you? To answer that, you need to look inward. Reflect on your personal career goals, your interests, your strengths, and your weaknesses. Are you more inclined towards theoretical knowledge or hands-on practical experience? Do you see yourself working in academia or in the corporate world? Are you interested in research? Or perhaps you're drawn to the freedom of freelancing? These are the questions that will guide you to the right choice. Remember, the right course for you is the one that aligns with your career goals and interests. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. The journey to finding the perfect course might be challenging, but the rewards are worth it. In the end, it's about finding the path that makes you happy, that fulfills you, and that helps you grow both personally and professionally. Remember, the right course for you is the one that aligns with your career goals and interests. Good luck with your decision. Thank you for watching the video. If you had enjoyed the video, kindly hit the like button. And if you had not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you will become a part of Data Lab Work channel. Hit the notification bell to never miss the new video whenever they are uploaded. Until next time.